Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 12th to the 18th of August 2019 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Virgo. So we have five cards at the top as usual, all clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. We have the past, the present, challenges, advice from tarot and outcome. I've also got an angel oracle card, two angel oracle cards for further clarification. So Virgo... Let's look at the past position. Now, I do say, inevitably, I do put these in categories for ease, but with people at various life stages, it's the energies that really matter in the readings. So we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Four of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is could be somebody in your life. Now, the Queen's, for me, are cardinal energy, so this is Capricorn energy. Could be a Capricorn in your life or an Earth energy, fellow Earth sign, Maybe giving you advice, maybe instrumentally giving you an offer of some kind. Um, this is the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles appears in your advice from tarot section as well. So there is some kind of offer or an opportunity potentially coming your way, or certainly for some of you. This can also be just grounding yourself now, be practical, getting your sleeves rolled up as an energy to, to really move forward slowly but steadily in, a, in the path to success, maybe releasing, releasing from some stagnation. And the Queen of Pentacles is a doer energy, a, an energy of hard work. The Pentacles do talk about hard work. Um, there's focus that's needed here now. But she's a promise, she's an, she's an energy that, that says you have all the earthly resources, the skills, the experience, the practical knowledge, knowledge to further yourself now. Certainly on the money and career aspect, this is very promising. So powerful message. <clears throat> but like I said, it could be somebody in your life as well. Now, with this, with this promise here, and it can also be quite a nurturing energy, some of you healing from a situation from the past, because we do have a devil energy here. The Four of Pentacles is when we hung on too tight to something. It might well be that some of you have been through a rough ride on the material front, on the monetary front, and you're holding on to what you have for fear of an uncertain world if you take steps forward. The Queen of Pentacles is full of promise. There is an analytical skill here. Know the facts, know the detail, but there is opportunity now to make real progress. The Queen as an energy is, and certainly the Kings as well, are the height of success. So there's opportunity, success to be had. Maybe from an opportunity or really applying yourself to bring growth into your life now, growth and expansion. You see all the greenery around her, there's real growth to be had. Um, and there, there is something about overcoming what you're holding on so tightly to. If it's not money, if it's not material um, things that you're holding on to, it might well be that you're holding on to something with regard to this devil energy here. Because we have the devil, which is again a card of Capricorn, and also the nine of wands. I think some of you are fighting to overcome your demons. This is the moon in Sagittarius, the nine of wands. Instinctively, I kind of think you're making instinctive choices to, to release yourself from some kind of like either toxic relationship or situation where you felt powerless in a situation. I think you're, you're trying to get your power back or you're trying to assert yourself in some way or have done in the past, Virgo. Um, this is the lover's energy. These two lovers are in chains. And these chains are loose. They could easily loosen them and walk away. But they choose not to because they're in the illusion of that devil. They feel powerless. There's an element here of, of see, tr see through that deceptive quality of the devil. Again, the moon in Sagittarius. Um, and remember, the Sagittarius is the archer, very visionary card. It is see, op open your mind. Connect to your inner instincts. See, you know, what's the service isn't necessarily the reality of the situation. See beyond the current situation in order to take your power back in a situation. Um, this can be an energy where the nine of wands is an ending is closer than you think. 
It could be an unhealthy relationship. As I said, could be just a toxic situation. Feeling that you don't have power in a situation when in fact you're fight you're kind of like I think this is very much a struggle. I think you've been fighting to overcome your demons in some way. And this person is saying it's closer than you think. This is the wounded warrior, but they're ready to battle on. Change is closer than you think to this situation. So keep on moving forward. Don't stay stuck. Um, it is very much a time of understanding how to dance with the devil. Like very much like that Capricorn energy understands how to. The Queen of Pentacles does have that shadow side. This is her major arcana counterpart. She understands um, how to tread that fine line. Certainly on the material success front, she understands how consuming money, wor money worries can be. She understands how consuming worries can be that affect our structure and stability in life, which is what re Pentacles represent. Um, our homes... Our possessions, our money, our career, our immediate relationships, all of those things are pentacles energy. So she understands how to tread that fine line. And it's by being focused, by knowing the facts of the situation, by taking her time, putting one step in front of the other to really bring success. And there's a promise of something ending here. You do have two nines. So this is in your past position, but it's also in your challenge to understand that success is closer than you think. So keep on going. That's very much the message. Now we have the tower energy in your present the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pen Queen of Wands. I love the Queen of Wands. She's a wonderful energy. So we have the Tower card. So the Tower is... Okay, we've got the Tower and we've got the Seven of Swords energy. The Tower is... is change. It can be uncomfortable change. It's big change. Some of you may well be going through changes. This is that lightning that the universe sends from the heavens to raise a tower. This can be your, your life, it could be part of your life, could be your career, could be your relationships, could be friendships, could be money, anything. It could be your property, actually. The tower can also associate itself with property. Um, it raises this tower to the ground. It can also be your beliefs, your inner beliefs, your intellect, your logic, your reasoning, all of that kind of thing. It raises it to the ground in order to allow new growth. But this is really the action of the universe aligning you to your true path. That's what the tower is meant to do. It's uncomfortable because being realigned, you know, being challenged in some way, beyond your control is uncomfortable it is only to let your light out it is it is it is it's basically this square tower and this round crown your round crown square peg round hole something doesn't fit anymore virgo and this is the universe giving you that jolt to really move forward now to really align yourself to what's possible because I kind of think some of you have very much picking up from the devil energy. Some of you have been in a, some kind of deceptive m uh, mode. I mean, this can be self-sabotage. The seven of swords can be, you know, self-sabotage. When we hold ourselves back from, <clears throat> from aligning with our true path, when we hold ourselves back from moving forward. Now, you have this seven of swords and you also have this four of pentacles. Four of pentacles the card of stillness and stagnation. So you're holding yourself maybe back from opportunity uh, to move forward, to grow, to be successful, to connect with people, new relationships, all of that kind of thing. And that's that tower energy giving you that big jolt forward. It is uncomfortable. You have no control over it. But it's meant to be because this square tower was encaging you. And... It's time to be released. There is a liberation here. And I can see that with the full card here. I, I think some of you have been restricted, whether it's your own self-imposed restrictions or you've been restricted by other people. Again, that devil energy, you have felt powerless in a situation. This is the universe asking you to acknowledge your true power because it is this power, that power of Mars, that is destroying that tower. This is raw power. 
and he's asking you to acknowledge your raw power as well in order to move forward because the crown, your crown, is your power, your sense of self. So it's a powerful message. Whatever, if this is to do with relationships in your external world, um, deception of some kind in whatever aspect, this is... This is where it all comes crumbling down. This is where masks are revealed. This is where truth is revealed. So there, it's almost kind of like the curtain is revealed. The curtain is, is, is you know, it's looking behind the curtain and seeing the truth, seeing the truth of a situation. There's an element of needing to trust this tower, Virgo. I will say that because the Seven of Swords can also be a time when you need to trust um, in a situation and it is trust that this change is pushing you forward embrace it embrace it because that's what the queen of wands will do she is very much that kind of person who will look for opportunity in disaster <laughs> um, because that is her nature so as an energy she is the she is very much like the king of wands in the fact that she is she is an opportunist but she makes instinctive choices she chooses what feels right for her there's a feeling here of trusting your instincts to guide you through this tower energy for those of you who are going through that tower moment um because it is bringing you back to that point of self. She has a great sense of self. She's empowered. There's an, es there's an essence here of, of feeling more empowered. Um, with, if you don't do now, there's, there's a promise of it with the Queen of Wands energy. It is about taking decisive action through this. This is just riding the wave, Virgo. Riding the wave of that tower because that's exactly what she would do. She will seek opportunity in any aspect, in any challenging situation. Um, it is about channeling the power here because this is a destructive force. This is the Mars in the destructive mode. This is Mars when it's channeled, when it's channeling your channeling the power, the channeling, the channeling the power that you have. Um, so don't resist change. This is about trusting that change in order to really further yourself now. And that is the message because there's abundance here. You see the sunflower. This is abundance. Um, and the Queen of Wands, for me, again, cardinal energy, this is, a, this is an Aries, um, can be general fire, um, Le sorry, Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, but for, as a cardinal energy, this is an Aries. So this she holds the Ace of Wands, opportunity. And there's an offer or an opportunity again. Two queens saying that there is an offer or an opportunity. However difficult this situation might be for some of you, don't, don't deceive yourselves or don't allow other people to deceive you right now because there is real opportunity to be had um, to push you forward. So... Powerful message. I will say there is something here about the overcoming your own demons, overcoming your own negativities in your mind in this reading, Virgo. We have the Seven of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Nine of Swords here. The Swords all link to the mind. And what I will say is these cards are saying that when you release that negativity from your in, when you stop holding yourself back, because negativity, and we all do it, Virgo, that negativity can really hold you back from progressing, from embracing change. It is about conquering your inner world in some respects, conquering your inner negativity in order to move forward in your external world. And I kind of think that's what this card is all about, the Nine of Wands. Conquering your inner world, accepting things that are finished, accepting that you can bring about an ending in a situation um, to release from within. Uh, because as I say, the swords are very much linked to the mind and it can be where our mind is our best friend or our worst enemy. And that's why I'm talking about that moon energy in Sagittarius. That's why we're, we're focusing on the seven of wands being that deceptive quality, because this is where your mind can really play tricks on you. Negativities can be magnified. So that's the only thing getting involved, getting in the way of opportunity I can see right now. In your challenge position, we have the ten of swords and we have the nine of wands. 
So the Nine of Wands is about keep fighting on. Success and ending to a hard situation is closer than you think. The Ten of Wands, you're going from a nine to a ten, there's an ending here. Things can end, but you have to release from within. The ten, the dark clouds here in the picture are our inner negativities, negativities that control your mind, most definitely. Again, it's swords energy, Virgo. And this is a sun in Gemini, so the sun is pushing away those dark clouds, and this is your internal world. The swords have gone into this person's back. Now, it might well be that you were stabbed in the back, um, you could have had harsh words with somebody, things that you can't take back or they can't take back, that deeply wounded you. Their actions could have deeply wounded you in whatever aspect of life. This is that point in time that you have the opportunity to put an end to a situation that's holding you back. You see, this person is fighting on. They're ready to fight on. They've been in battle, but they're ready to fight on. But they are in two minds because they could also be deciding whether to give up or not. And it might well be that you're not realising that you have that power to bring an end to a situation now. This is your challenge. Once you let go of that negativity from within... You find things ending in your external world as well. So it's a powerful message. But this is very much a release from within in order to embrace change, in order to grab hold of opportunity, which is what I, I alluded to before. Because there is opportunity here. The Ace of Pentacles is the Pentacles card that that Queen of Pentacles is holding. She holds the Ace of Pentacles. This is an offer or an opportunity. But this Four of Cups can be about missed opportunities. When somebody's not engaged, again, another four, a card of stillness, when they're holding themselves back, holding on to things that don't serve them anymore, not feeling that they deserve it or they're worth it or they're good enough in some way, they're not engaging. This is a card of being discontent with life. When you're in the wrong mindset, again, the sword's energy, again, up. The seven, the ten, the nine here. When you're in the wrong mindset, this is the universe saying there's opportunity now. I mean, you know, these, this reading is full of opportunity. This is the golden coin. This is an offer or an opportunity. Um, the beginnings of something in money. This connects to your destiny because it's the hand of the God, the divine, the universe. Offering you opportunity when you've been through change. There's opportunity in change. And this is somebody who needs to grab hold of this opportunity that this, the, the universe, God, the divine, whatever it means to you, is offering this person now. It is about engaging with life, taking action, being open to receive because there's real opportunity to be had. This is a door open. You see, as one door closes, another one opens. And this is the open door now and a really beautiful opportunity. So make sure you don't miss opportunities. Certainly this week or a few days either side of the reading. Don't let your mind, your inner world get in the way. Now, Virgo, we've got the wonderful full card. Yes, we've got beautiful full card. This is the rebel energy of um, Uranus. So the fool, I mean, this is he divinely guided. This is the divine light shining on the fool um, at the top of a cliff before he jumps into the mortal world. And remember, the fool is point zero because he doesn't have a number. Anything is possible at this point. This is about taking the leap of faith and he trusts that anything is possible. This is somebody who is letting go of all baggage. You see, there's no baggage here, really. And moving forward, this is a major new beginning. Taking the leap of faith to move on. And they're passionate. They're just, you know, they're optimistic. They're ready to go. They're going to carve out their own path. Again, carve, this is the Uranus energy, a rebel planet energy. Going your own way. Putting yourself first. Standing in your own light, that is the full, full energy. And it's also a card of liberation. So liberation, liberating yourself from the past. And you're liberating yourself from this Nine of Swords energy. The only thing that's going to interfere in any progress this week is your internal world, your internal mind. 
because again this is that destructive force of mars and mars again um reminding us that as soon as we allow one negativity to come into our inner world that's when more come that's where they stack up that's when things are blown out of proportion that's when they magnify and interfere with our routine our sleep our health all of that kind of thing and just put us in that downward spiral it is about letting go very much releasing liberating yourself in the past and looking forward not be known by whatever's gone on in the past now to really move forward so it's a powerful message virgo but this beautiful golden coin this ace of pentacles absolutely beautiful you see i'm sorry i'm just seeing that the fool is actually walking towards this he's facing it and I, I do think that there is a wonderful new beginning here so the angel and ancestor card is air guardian shift your perception yeah I mean, that's 100% what we've been talking about. So let me read that out to you, Virgo. Change the way you think and you will change your whole reality. Isn't that beautiful? Change the way you think and you will change your whole reality. And that is what those swords energy is are really trying to say, I think, in this reading, because there's wonderful opportunity here. Focus, yeah. I think certainly from the Queen of Pentacles onwards, there's time to focus because we, we know that there can be missed opportunities here in the Advice from Tarot section. So it is time to focus on what you really want. Focus on your worth, Virgo. Focus on really moving forward because there's opportunity to be had and real progression. So powerful message. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.